And if I could just go, go back to the case of um, Sophia Weiler. Now, what Sophia has done is that something has happened. She's had a sexual relationship. Um, the, a condom wasn't used. She uh, appeared to have consented that the condom wasn't used after she said, um, after Julian said to her, she asked him, what are you wearing? He said, I'm wearing you. And he continued, and she allowed that to happen. So that's consent. We understand that as consent. But it seems that um, a week later or whatever period of time later, she talks to her friends and her friends are telling her things. And then she suddenly decides, well, maybe it wasn't consent. Maybe I, I didn't consent. And therefore it's right. But my point on that is that you can't have, you can't apply retrospectively, you can't apply non-consent after the event. You either consented at the time or you didn't. Correct? True, true. Yeah. But, but you see, in Sophia's case, it's, it's slightly different because she never says she didn't consent. She just says she wanted a condom to be used and therefore I did not want it. Uh, yes. and and, uh, and and that's why I mean that's why I think Anna talks about condom because she realizes condoms are of importance uh, it's common. and and, and, and it's, it's it's what I call a condom evidence the lack of condom proves you raped me uh, and and it's it's very very weird it, it's if uh, it's obvious that Sophia wanted a condom to be used. That's what she wanted. That's what she had. She, they had had sex before with a condom, and she wanted a condom to be used. But when Julian did not use a condom, she still wanted a condom to be used, but she consented to the sex. Exactly. That's, that, yeah. And that's just the by evidence. comparison. Yeah. Just by comparison, um, this is the three lines from the legislation in in the state where I live in New South Wales. Uh, uh, any person who has sexual intercourse with another person without the consent of the other person and who knows that the other person does not consent to the sexual intercourse is liable to imprisonment for 14 years. Okay, there it is in three lines. But the operative Very word good. is the consent. The operative word is the consent. Because in the following subsections, it then goes on to discuss what is defined as consent or not. And it becomes very simple then because you have, for example, um, uh, whether the, the uh, a perpetrator is reckless as to the consent, that he doesn't care. If there's some evidence that comes in that he's reckless, that is regarded as being not cons no consent because he, that, that person, again, I use a male, uh, female situation as you're using, in that that male does not take the time and care to find out whether uh, the other party is consenting. So that's recklessness. Or um, you have a situation of cognitive incapacity. In other words, if somebody has a mental illness, it can't be consent because that person doesn't have the capacity, the, the mental capacity. Likewise with a child, we have a statutory limit so that if it's under 16 years of age, that person under 16 does not have the capacity to give consent to an act of intercourse. Then you also have um, whether the person is unconscious or asleep, and it goes in and, and subdivides that up. Um, you also have a situation of mistaken identity. When some stranger climbs into the house and climbs into the bed with a woman who's expecting her husband to be home, and it's in the middle of the night, and she thinks she's having sex with her husband and consents to having sex, thinking it's her husband, it turns out to be somebody else, obviously that is not consent. So all of this consent thing all flows from the original three lines and then it just goes through them all, uh, bit by bit, so that people can understand. We also have substantially intoxicated by alcohol or by drug, um, the same as you do in Sweden, but, but we attach it to the consent side. So there can be no consent when a woman is intoxicated, lying on the floor unconscious, there is no way that such a person can consent to an act of intercourse. Um, and then we also have the intimidatory or coercive conduct 
of the perpetrator if he's got a weapon. And then the woman, obviously, in this situation, is probably going to keep very quiet and just comply and, and would appear to be consenting, but actually it's not consent because the law says because you've used a threat, a threat or a weapon, it's no, no consent. So that's how the New South Wales legislation works. You probably find it's, it's very similar in the UK, in the United States, Canada, New Zealand, and, and in other common law countries. But to my way of thinking, uh, if, we ha if, you, if you had those three lines in Sweden, you had the word consent, and then the consent went to this, 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 as I've described, it would be a lot less confusing. Uh, would you agree with that? Of course, of course, I, and I would. I am. I am for that kind of legislation because there are cases which are absolutely absurd. Let me just tell you. I mean, you can tell me how this would be treated in Australia. If, for instance, a girl is walking home at night and uh, she, a car passes by with three men, and they stop and they ask her, "Do you want to ride home?" And she says yes, and she climbs into the car. Then they take her out in a deserted area in the forest, and then they rape her. When that goes to the police, and, and when, it's, when it goes to court in Sweden, what they have to decide is what type of, uh, how much did she resist, how much did she object, etc., etc., etc. To me, if that happens, you're in a situation where no consent can be given. I mean, it's, you don't even have to ask the question, did she, did she consent to this? Because she's kidnapped. She's, mm -hmm. uh, and, yeah. and in that situation, it's, 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 it's over and done with. But in Sweden, if, if, you, if you can't prove that she fought each and every individual, you can't convict the guys. And there are many situations where actually people have said, okay, we cannot rule out the possibility that she consented. And it's absolutely absurd. Exactly. And, and to the detriment of, um, as, as we see, to the detriment of uh, real victims and to the detriment also of some defendants, uh, particularly with, a, with a, what I would categorise as a shoddy police investigation and an extraordinarily weak case, that these matters continue on to, to a bitter conclusion, uh, or hopefully in Mr. Assange's case to a, a, a good conclusion. But my point was that we get onto this subject of public policy, and I'll just, I think you have an equivalent, you probably call it something different in Sweden. Um, public policy says, for example, when it comes to assault, there was a very well-known or relatively well-known amongst uh, legal professionals, a law case in the UK, I think it went to the House of Lords, and it was uh, 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 sadomasochists who were doing each other some injuries by consent, by consent. Um, the problem was that it gets to the stage where the injury is severe enough that you just cannot say that the person that suffered that injury um, could have consented to be injured in such a fashion. And what the High Courts in the U what the House of Lords, I believe, said in the UK, that public policy has to intervene, and public policy says that even though you think you might have consented to that, um, it is not really consent, and public policy will say you did assault that person and you will suffer the penalty uh, accordingly to that particular crime. And I, I think that these are exceptional cases like that. These are exceptional cases. They it's don't a, happen that often. Yeah. Mm. We've had a similar case in Sweden. Mm. Uh, but it was, it, was, it was also about a, what do you call it, bondage and sadomasochism. Yes, yes, sadomasochism. Uh, and, yeah, and in this particular case, the injuries were minor. Yeah. So the so the, the the alleged criminal was regarded as not guilty, of course. Yeah. But that yeah. that case is under appeal, and that case that case is very interesting because that's also very very shoddy police work that's that's behind it. Yeah. But when we but get it, to it public has, policy, it has to yeah it has to be 
you can't consent to that somebody kills you or that somebody beats you up severely. I mean, you can't consent exactly. to that. And that's and, and it's the same thing we have in Sweden. You and can't what consent. I'm thinking, yeah, what I'm thinking is that, that if you take the case of Sophia Wylan, that what appears to be happening is that this public policy concept that I've just described is filtering down to the extent that when it comes to sexual offences, situations, that the state can say, and, and, and in the case of Sophia, we're, we're more or less agreed that, um, even though they went, we're not the court of law, but we, we have decided that it's more probable than not that there was consent at the time that Sophia was having sexual relations with Julian Assange. And, and even though she wanted the condom and so on, we've been through that, but you cannot have a situation where the state would step in as a question of public policy and then say that we are going to say there was no consent there as a matter of public policy purely on the power differential between the man and the woman in that case. Would you agree with me there? Yes. Yeah. But my question also is, is that what appears to be happening in Sweden, that public policy is deciding whether there is consent or no consent? No. Against I, the wishes of the... No, no I, th I think this this matter is, it's it's about something else, and I'm, I'm just trying to figure out what it's all about. One thing is important to know, very many rape cases, most rape cases never go to court. Most rape cases are not properly investigated. Most rape cases are dismissed at a very, very early stage. One reason why they are dismissed is that some rape, some rape accusations are not correct. And, and the 